Hi everyone, we are going to discuss about Multigo in this video. And Multigo is actually an open source uh, intelligence tool. So this is used for information gathering and pen testing or in a tool of hacking. So before that, let's read just a short disclaimer that the video content has been made available for information and education purpose only. Uh, so yes, Multico is a, a tool by which we can gather information. So as you know, as part of pen testing or ethical hacking, the very first phase is about information gathering. And for this information gathering, this is an amazing tool which we will see in this today's video. And this is also uh, considered as a real-time data mining tool. And this tool actually shows us graphically the relationship between information and the information which is publicly available on the internet. And uh, this relationship is established or this relationship is found uh, between this following entities. So like I said, we say that it finds relationship between entities. So what kind of entities those can be. So those entities can be names, email addresses, organization, websites, domains, DNS name. It means what is the relationship between these entities, that relationship sh will be shown graphically to us using this Multigo tool. And as an example, you see here, we have taken a domain name here, gnu.org. And these are some of the email addresses, or oh, sorry, these are some subdomains which are related with this. And uh, with those subdomains, if we have these IP addresses, so now these IP addresses are related with those subdomains, so subdomains are related with this domain. So you can see this is how this relationship will be created for us. And we can see that how, um, how they all are related and maybe this information will be helpful for us in other phases of pen testing. And in this case, the Multigo uses this information which is publicly available. So these connections are found using open source intelligence technique. And for this, actually they send query messages to DNS records, they send query messages to host records, search engine, social network, various online APIs. So it means Multigo is getting information from all these sources and once this information has been received multigo can represent that information in a graphical way okay and uh, this multigo is why uh, used by security professionals this is used for by pen testers ethical hackers let's say forensic uh, investigator investigating journalist researchers and yes, for the information you can see, so I have taken all this information from their official website, that's multigo.com. And uh, there are multiple flavors of Multigo, Multigo Professional, Multigo Enterprise, Multigo Community Edition. So some of the editions are paid and some of them are for free. So we'll be using this edition of Multigo. And now to demonstrate the use of Multigo, I have uh, this Kali Linux machine. And in this Kali Linux machine, first we are going to launch this terminal. And in this terminal, actually we will first we'll update it, sudo f update. And uh, after updating, we will install Multigo tool in this Kali Linux machine. And then I'll show you that how we can use this Multigo. Update has been completed. It may take few minutes for you. And now we just have to install Multigo tool for that. We have, let's say, sudo privileges and then sudo f um, install Multigo. Oh, sorry, spelling B E G O Multigo. And then we press enter. And you can see this has started installing Multigo in our Kali Linux machine. It may take some time. I Maybe I'll fast forward this video. And now Multigo has been installed and again it may take few minutes. We need to wait for that. And after installing this Multigo, you can launch Multigo from here. You just click in right uh, top left here. And then you should have this information gathering and this information gathering, you can find this Multigo here. And I think in older version of Kali, this was already installed. You can check it again as well for certification. But now you can see we have this Multigo, which is installed here. And to launch this tool, we just click there and uh, maybe we minimize it. Uh, we do previous windows, this one. And now you can see this Multigo community edition is being installed here. And uh, 
said this is the first window which we see here and here you can see multigo all the flavors all different kinds and yes multigo one multigo xl multigo classic multigo ce that is for free and these are actually the paid version of multigo we need to pay for them you can see here and these two are for free which we can use here and further detail you can find here that just multigo one is the new unified solution to access and activate multigo plans for professional and enterprises and in the same way you can see the details of multigo xl and multigo classic and for this multigo c that stands for community edition which we'll be using that is for free and for learning purposes good to start from here so there's a community uh, transform will be initial uh, will be installed and can be used to generate graphs so let's say we are using this one so we click there so run here and when we click run it should start it and now first of first first window is there to accept the agreements from them and these all are the steps which will be taken by multigo for its installation so we are going to accept it and then we click next and maybe now you can see it has started this and now this is actually the email address and password which we need so it means to use this community edition of multigo we need to have email and password it means we need to get uh, register ourselves so you can click here you can see here you when you click there it says that register here and hopefully a new window should appear and uh, yes this window is appearing maybe i click two times but you can see here we have this register a multigo community edition account you need to give your first name your country and all this information is required i have already done this you also need to do the same thing and now let's go back to here and here i will be uh, giving my email address and here i'll use my password and then this and this captcha we need to solve and then i'll show you the next step and then you have to click just next so after giving all these details uh, we will be we will land on this page and then we click next and now you can see after giving all these details and click uh, after clicking next this is still processing and now you can see this is shows that we have completed login uh, results and login details now it's installing transforms so transform are, are simple programs and simple code or some functions which will be transforming some entities to some other multiple entities let's see here so it says these these uh, these uh, have been installed and then again we have to click next and then it says that do you want to automatically send error reports to them so at the moment actually we are not interested in sending them error reports we just don't select them and web browser we can also select it but we are selecting uh, default system browser and then we have some privacy mode options so it says privacy mode if you want to hide yourself then you can select this option instead or you can select also normal so for me i'm actually selecting normal and then we click next the last step is ready and it says that do you want me to open a blank graph and let me play around so it's it means now everything is ready it will be showing us a graph and in that graph we can um, uh, we can i mean play with that but at the moment let's say we uh, i want to show you what happens here so i'm going to click here uh, go away i've done this before so let's say i'm going to click finish and then you have this window here and for visibility and we just have to click acknowledge it so for visibility i'm going to maximize this screen so that we can see it uh, properly and this is the first window we have here and you can see first we see is the multigo transform hub so as i mentioned before transform actually is a function actually actually that function is of course is a program so that program is to, going to transform or that program is going to show or find out the relation between the entity which we give and then it will take that entity and will produce uh, other entities and their relationship with the entity which we give so i'll show you with the example then this will be maybe clear so transform was very much important they are code or they are the function which will be taking one entity as an input and an output at an output this will be giving multiple entities and its relationship with the original entity which we define so now this is the first window here and to show you 
uh, that how we can use it let's and then these you can see here we have these access option data category claims and stuff fixed and here maybe we can see that which one are installed so not installed this is let's say if we click on here let's say if we click on install it will show you that what transforms so yes these transform was actually functions and some of the functions are available in community edition but some of the functions which will not be available in community edition and for that we need to purchase other addition of multi-tool so that we can use it means there will be more functionality in today's world so these are some installed here the standard transform community edition they are installed and if you click not install it will of course show those uh, which are not installed there those are installed and if you feel like they are useful for you for your organization then maybe you can you can go and purchase them